Okay, class. Let's proceed with our uh, discussion on the deriv derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. But before we uh, move forward to the examples, so let us uh, take some review first on uh, where these conditions, like for example, if you have. Uh, If you have derivative of or say y equal to inverse of sine x if and only if x equal to sine y. So what does it mean? Where is that uh, condition is taken from? Do you have any idea, class? So, y equal to inverse sine of x if and only if x equal to y. Like, for example, if you have, say, if you let if you let x be equal to one half if x equal to one half okay so we will have y equal to inverse of sine x or x equal to one half so y equal to inverse of one half okay so using your calculator so what is uh, inverse sine of one half one half means 0 0.5 so that is equal to 30 degrees now using your calculator uh, it will give you 30 degrees okay so now using this uh, condition so this one y equal to inverse sine of x or arc sine of x if x equal to sine of y so therefore uh, x equal to so let us check if x really equal to sine of y what is our y y is okay so i will rewrite it first x equal to sine of y x equal to sine of 30 degrees okay so using your calculator would it give you one half so using your calculator it will yield or it will give you one half or equal to 0.5 so you see y equal to inverse sine of x if and only if x equal to sine y so when x equal to one half you got y equal to 30 degrees now using your calculator substitute it here and now when you take the sine of 30 degrees it will give you x equal to one half which is exactly this one so that's what it means by inverse so in trigo if you still remember in your trigo so assuming this is our right triangle Okay, so you can let this be your y. The angle, let the angle here be equal to y. Okay, and then when you take sine, if you can still remember this uh, code, we have here the so ka tua. Okay, so. If you have here x equal to one half so if you have say sine of y sine of this angle y we have opposite no? you can have opposite over hypotenuse no from so so katua so sine opposite over hypotenuse right so we have here uh, one half no? We have x equal to one half 
so sine of sine of uh, y which is in this case we have y equal to 30 right so y is equal to 30 so sine of y equal to uh, sine of 30 x equal to sine of y x equal to sine of 30 because y is equal to 30 degrees so x equal to one half so sine of 30 is opposite no? equal to one half opposite opposite this is opposite means that is one then hypotenuse two okay so when you say uh, sine of y sine of y equal to opposite which is one over two all right so from here we have so this is our x right from our definition here so sine y is equal to x equal to one half or this is equal to x okay so from here uh, you can uh, take the inverse on both sides so inverse of so you have the inverse sine of y equal to inverse sine sine of x so inverse sine of y is simply y so equal to inverse sine of x okay so this is what we have here this one so y equal to sine of x or inverse sine of x okay so in 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 a right triangle so we can get this uh, inverse now this is uh, where we can derive the inverse thing okay and we also have uh, uh, for tangent for tangent we have y equal to arc tangent or inverse tangent of x if and only if x equal to tangent y okay so same condition class if for example uh, if we let say if we let x be equal to 1 okay so what will happen so we have here y equal to arc tangent of x and y equal to when x equal to 1 arc tangent of 1 so using your calculator what is arc tangent of 1 so arc tangent of 1 is that is 45 degrees now using your calculator it will give you arc tangent of 1 or inverse tangent of 1 is equal to 45 degrees so the condition here so we have x equal to tangent y so let us check so is tangent y equal to x our y here is 45 degrees so is tangent for tangent of 45 degrees is equal to 1 okay so using your calculator so what is the answer so tangent of 45 is equal to 1 so exactly this right so we let x equal to 1 so you got inverse tangent of 145 and then when you take the tangent of the 45 it will give you 1 so they're inverse okay so that is what is meant by inverse now using the 45 by 45 angle so let this be our y so let this be our y here so from this triangle we have so again we will use this so so ka tua 
Okay, so when you speak of two, uh, tangent, so tangent of the angle y equal to opposite, you have one. So tangent of that is one. So opposite over adjacent. So this is also one here. So that's why we have tangent of y is one over one, which is equal to one. So tangent of y equal to one. All right. Now, if you take the inverse on both sides, inverse of tangent, so inverse tangent of tangent y equal to arc or inverse tangent of 1. So, inverse tangent of tangent y, so that is simply equal to y, equal to arc tangent of 1. Okay. So this is exactly the same as this one here. Right? So we let x so we, we call this as our x this one here. Okay? So I hope you understand class what is this inverse. So before we proceed to our example. Now uh, taking the first example so we are given in our previous uh, in our introductory part of our lecture about derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. Okay, so we have here our first example. So we are given f of x equal to inverse sine of for x okay so this is the given and we are required here to find the derivative so what is the f prime of f prime of x or the derivative of the inverse sine of x Okay, so for our solution, uh, using the formula, so what is our formula for the sine? We have the derivative, uh, derivative of inverse inverse sine u with respect to x is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared okay and then times the derivative of u with respect to x so in this case our u in this uh, given so this is our u all right that's our u okay so therefore f prime of x equal to so using the formula so we have 1 divided by square root of 1 minus our u is equal to 4x all right then that is squared no from the formula that is squared so meaning 4x squared times the derivative of 4x so derivative of 4x so what is the derivative of 4x okay so rewriting this so we have 1 minus uh, square of this one so 4 square 16 then x squared then times derivative of 4x is simply 4 so therefore we have our final answer here is this is our f prime of x equal to 4 times 1 so 4 divided by the square root of 1 minus 16 x squared okay so this is our final answer for our a prime of x all right so thank you very much i will uh, solve another problem in our next video so see you in 
our next video. Thank you very much. See you later.